Yeah. Chapter two. It was getting harder to find animals for my experiments, but I still knew one I could get access to easily. Chapter two. I told Lark I was mis making her a clock. She wasn't interested. She was too busy playing with her stupid bird. I'm wondering whether I'm the person who's stealing the animals and you're the sister. Maybe. It's now 1932. All right. Again, train tracks, sign, same about a closed yeah. track. Attention, closed tracks. So the last answer does not work this time. Yeah. All right, I guess we start there. searching. And it's raining. All right, going back in the house. Let's yeah. see what happens. Ooh. Oh, there's bells. I got a wood fire. Got different bells. Oh. I got a Do I click any top? Can I go out? No, let's back out. Okay, I can't actually do anything. I have six oh. bells, each labeled as something different. Uh, I got a door. Oh! That opens. I got a note. I left you something downstairs. It will be my greatest invention yet. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. Emily. I'm definitely the little sister. I've just gone down into the basement and opened a barrel which just leaked all over the floor. Says, Lovely. I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Larrick. Look after... Look after what? Look after... Oh. Mm, something about a study, because there's a bell here that says study, so what did that say again? I've been working on this iteration for one year now in the study. I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Larrick. Look after... I don't know what, because I've managed to get some other text. Oh, oh, wow, I've got loads of text now. Okay. Ooh, like really loads. It's probably going to tell me the pattern here. I've got the whole situation going on now. Okay, look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dinner table waiting for you. So, study kitchen dining hall? No, that wasn't enough. Can you start from the beginning again? Pantry. Let's see if I missed anything. Um, study. Okay. Pantry. There's no pantry, there's kitchen. So, I'm guessing association here, kitchen. And you said dining table, which would be dining hall. Yeah. I also have front door, music, room, and office. Is there a study? Or is that... Yeah, I already said study. Study's on there. Okay. I've been working on this iteration for one year now, in the study. Okay. I'd like you to keep it safe for me. Look after it really well, like you did with the two kittens you found in the pantry. In five okay. years... When I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the dine by the dinner table waiting for you. Maybe study kitchen front door since she returns? In the dining hall? Possibly. I'm seeing if there's anything else I can so. No. Because music room and office still aren't used. There are gaps in between these, but I don't know if there's any missing text, because I can't find anything that suggests there would be. Maybe... Nope. Um...
That wasn't it either. <coughs> Oops. Play our secret melody and I'll open the door. Uh. She said she'd been working on it in the study. She wants her, you to keep it safe. So maybe would there be a safe in the office? Possibly. So maybe study office, kitchen, front, or... Wait, wait, wait. What rooms have you got? I got kitchen. Yep. Front door. Yep. Study. Yep. Music room. Yeah. Office and dining hall. Okay. Nope, that doesn't help. Well, we can come back to this, I think. Because if we stay, maybe there's something further along that can shed some light on what's it. going on. Yeah. Oh, the music's. <coughs> you got music? Interesting. I got a music store. Okay. I haven't gone back up yet. Hang on. There you go. Post box. Ooh, music star. I've got a mechanical bug. It's gone running off now. I've got 44, 46, and 48. And 34, 36, 38, 24, 26, 28, 14, 16, and 18. I had to write those down because I don't have numbers. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start uh, with the top uh, or. What do you have? I it just I have a post box. This is post. Bre B R E V K A S S E. See why I couldn't pronounce that? Yeah. And there's like a French horn at the top. I don't have a French horn at the top. I just yeah, have. The top. I have like a box that takes up most of the screen with a wheel on it, a button, and the number underneath in a little display point. Huh. Yeah, definitely not what mine says or does. Mine's literally a mailbox. And I can shake things. Can't drag, can't move. Okay, that's confusing as well. Then you have Raven's Clock again, which is not open till 3. Ooh, I can move the spindles on the wheels. I could do like northeast, southwest. Ah, is that had a map in the one in the one shop? But it didn't allow me to look at it. Let's go around to three o'clock and go in Ravens. Fair enough. This is really disorientating. Oh. <laughs> Um, I have stuff. Oh, there's a picture of the sister with the raven, but you only see the back of her head. Oh, I got the white raven sitting on my desk. The box that says Lark. I have a key to the clock shop. And I have a piece of mail that says Emily Raven. Oh, I can go to I can go deliver the mail. Oh. Because that had a key in it for the clock shop. So I if have... I go here. I have a desk with little drawers in it that I can't open. A couple of books, the raven, a machine in the background. I can't get to because the raven's in the way. I oh! Got a post it on the thing that says, Do not remove these tools. I will work when the clock shop is closed, Emily. And I have an apprenticeship letter for Emily. Dear Emily, I am pleased to inform you that you have been chosen as a new apprentice. Your experiments with time extraction are truly groundbreaking. I agree that our short lifespan is deeply unfair, especially for people like us who keep improving the world, pushing it forward. I'm looking forward to helping you with your experiment in Switzerland. Your sincerely, Clarissa Shah, Master Watchmaker. So I mailed the letter. Yeah. Is yours postbox number 28? 
Oh, I can get to post box 28. Because then it gives me coordinates. It goes northwest, west, southwest, east. Okay, one at a time, please. <laughs> <laughs> northwest. Next. West. Yep. Southwest. East. I'm in. I got a letter for Emily Robin. From Larrick. I got a key. So I just sent you something. That was me sending you the key. Nice. Here's your key to the clock shop, Emily. When you're done working, could you help me look for my raven? So I guess that means even when the clock shop now is closed, so if I, I were to go in. back in time... Yeah, I can get, get in. Get in. Yep, key. I can get in at when it's closed. Now we can... Ooh, oh! Yeah. Okay. I got new stuff. I got an o'clock to work on. <laughs> I have a book on gemstones. Okay, please tell me, because I've got four gemstones in this clock. Okay, so there's like a green one yep. with like ripples. That's red called Mount. There's away, a red bird. one? Yep. Okay, so do you want me to tell you what each one is then? Alright, tell me which ones you have, I'll tell you what it is. I have. The bird is bugging me now. Stop it! <laughs> okay, so I've got a green one with ripples, red one, a okay. white one, and a brown one that looks like uh, satin. <laughs> Alright, is the white one a clear looking one or does it have spots on it? It's clear. Okay, so the green one, starting with that one first, yep. that's malachite. It's a copper mineral known for its green color and can be used to create durable pigments. Okay. Does the white show one? You where to put them by any chance? Or... I haven't gone. I, there's another book I haven't looked in yet. Okay. So let's get them written down what each are at least. Wait, so that one was. Right. Malachite. Malachite. It's used to create durable pigments, it's a copper mineral. I don't know how much of that information you're going to need. Um, and then we have the white one is Quartz. It has the ability to channel energy. It's commonly used in making of clocks due to its ability to channel energy. Okay. Red is the Ruby. The Ruby is a hard and durable gemstone that can ease friction in mechanical instruments. Good, because this bird is going to get right on my nerves. He keeps knocking the clock. <laughs> and the brown? Right. A tiger's eye can be used as a conductor due to its layering of quartz crystal. Okay. Now I just need to know where to put them. And to smack this bird ah. silly. Stop it! I have the answer to that. There's a book on... I don't even know how to pronounce that properly, and I don't want to pronounce it wrong, because if I pronounce it wrong, it's going to sound really bad. Okay, anyone H watching my channel can go look now to find out. <laughs> H-O-R-O-L-O-G-Y. H-O-R-O-L-O-G-Y. <laughs> See why I don't want to pronounce it wrong? Horology? Horology? Something to do with time. Yeah. I just didn't want to pronounce it wrong. Um... So, we have, okay, through multiple studies, they figured out, so is there like, do you have, does your clock have like, four spots, I'm guessing, in an arc? Yeah. The gems are in them, I just don't know if they're in the right order, and they're probably not. Oh gosh, this is one of those process of eliminations. Alright. Yeah. The tiger's eye should be to the left of the quartz. Okay. The malachite cannot be to the far sides or directly next to the ruby. The ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. The malachite one can't be to the left. Malachite can't be on the far side or directly next to the ruby. The tiger's eye should be to the left of quartz. Let me see. Tiger's eye... Has to be to, directly to the left, of course. And then malachite can't be on the ends. And then ruby, ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Or directly next to... Malachite also can't be directly next to the ruby. Uh-oh. Okay. So um, which ones can't be next to the ruby? Tiger's eye can't and malachite cannot. And the malachite can't be on the left. 
And it can't be on the far right either. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For the highest precision, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. Okay, I can do that afterwards when I figure out where the hell the third quartz was. Right, so... <laughs> okay. Tiger's eye should be, to the le should be to the left of quartz. Okay, it doesn't have to be directly left. No. So what if we did, like... Malachite can't be there. So if I did Tiger's eye, Malachite, quartz, ruby then Tiger's Eye should be the left of Quartz. It is to the left of Quartz. Malachite cannot be on the far side, and it's not. It is not directly next to the Ruby, and the Ruby is not next to the Tiger's Eye. So Tiger's Eye, so Malachite, quartz, quartz, Ruby. Ruby. Yes. And point the thing to the third? To the third Quartz. Okay. When everything is set for Ultimate, actually wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clockwise twice. Didn't do anything. Wait, once the lid has closed, so the lid should have closed after you did that. Test the experiment by setting the clock to 12. Nope, it didn't work. Okay, so the tiger's eye should be the left of the quartz. The Malachite cannot be the far sides or directly next to Ruby. Ruby must not be directly next to the tiger's eye. Okay, that's true. The highest version, point the balance needle towards the third quartz. Point it in, oh, point it instead towards Malachite. Stores time better. Put the needle to Malachite instead. Okay. Now wind the clock up by turning the top right gear clock twice. twice. Okay. Lid closed. Yep. Set the clock to 12. Okay. I'm going in time again. Uh oh. Oh, it's stuck in the raven. It took the raven. And now the clock is switching between 12.15 and 12.30 in a sequence, I might add. I need to write that down when it resets. Okay. Now we just need to figure out this door. <laughs> Okay, I have the sequence. Okay, cool. So now this door. <laughs> yeah. When you read it, are any there's any words underlined or no. What's the sequence for? We've still got to be missing something. You still have to do the train. Yeah, maybe. Let's go and try that. <coughs> Excuse me. Not go down right. though. I'm guessing that's what we get from the door, is up, down, left, right. So it goes only right and down. And it's three o'clock and six o'clock. Okay. So now we need to know the rest of that. Yeah. Which is why we need to get behind that door. Hmm. I wonder. So there's numbers in that for in the phrasing too, correct? Yes. So there's like there's these bells are lined up. There's six lined up. So maybe the numbers have something to do with it too? Okay. So one. Okay. Two. Okay. Five. Okay. That's all I got numbers. One, two, and five. Okay, yeah. so then, r tell so tell me the, where the words study kitchen and uh, dining hall come in. Okay, so I've been working on a situation for one year now in the study. So one and study. So one and study. 
I'd like you to keep it safe for me, Lark. Look after it really well, like you did the two kittens you found in the pantry. Okay. In five years, when I've gained more knowledge, I'll come back and complete it. I'll be sitting by the diner by the dinner table waiting for you. Why by the so, dinner table, not at the dinner table? Yeah, I don't know. Because then that would be kitchen, study, front door, kitchen, office, dining hall. Worth a shot. If you say so. <laughs> kitchen, study, front door, kitchen, office, dining hall. No. <laughs> I got one, two, five, and that's it. One is study, two is kitchen. If five is the dining hall, then be over the other two numbers. You had three and six. Yeah. And those had no relation to anything else, so just time wise. Just how many times you. It hits each one. Oh, okay, that's not gonna help. What are we missing? Can you click on the oh. rooms a number of times? Maybe. So once on the that. study, twice on the pantry, five times on the kitchen. Yeah, let me try or that. Dining, dining. Study, kitchen, one, two, three, four, five. That worked. There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, now I can go downstairs. Ooh, that's creepy. Okay, there's a floating <laughs> barrel. Does it have a cork in it? Oh. No. That's oh, I'm I breaking the, the barrel. I'm like punching the barrel. I punched the barrel. And a clock fell out. Oh, the clock that's cracked fell out. Oh. Three. Oh, it's doing the pattern like you. Three, 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 six, three, six, six, three. Wait, twelve, three, twelve, twelve, twelve. Three, six, then resets. So I got yeah. 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 3, 6, and then resets. 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 3, 6. Okay. So 12, 3, 12, 12, 12, 12, 3, 6. Yes, that's why it, it took me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I had to make sure I got it. Oh! I can move stuff around. What the heck? I can move these jars. So maybe there's something yeah, around here. Yeah, I tried something. that. There was nothing that I could actually get out of it. I managed yeah. to scare the lizard that gave me part of the text that way. Ah. So, what do these numbers mean? You. The only thing left is the train. Yeah, but it's not enough information. I don't think. Is it? No, because we've got two different sequences. I can't follow mine on the train map because that doesn't work. Yeah, because 12, I guess, go up, go right, go up, go up, go up go right, go down. That would be mine if I was doing like 12, 3, 6. Yeah, but mine would be right, right, down. No, right, 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 down. And I can't go down. <laughs> Unless mine comes first, because mine gets you up. Maybe. So tell me so, yours. So, want to try? Yeah. Uh, so it'd be up. Yep. Right. Yep. Up, up, up. Yep. Right. Yep. Down. That's the whole of yours, yours, yeah? Yes. Mine would then be right, right, right. Down. Okay. Right. Okay. Down, down. Right. Hey! <laughs> I kind of assumed I had the first half, because last time I had the first half. Yeah. Alright, to the train.